So hello, my name is Mike Kotkam. I'm a technology manager with Roda and Schwarz. We are here at Barcelona Fair and we are displaying a, a setup, test setup, which is focusing on one of the aspects on 5G, which is the use of higher bandwidth and higher frequencies. So the setup is consisting of a signal generation and a signal analyzer part and an upconversion process in between. So we have a baseband which is down there because it's a proprietary one which is generating a signal in baseband which is about 2 gigahertz broad. That is fed through the SMW200 uh, here which is a signal generator with two pass instrument. Uh, we have one pass which is then feeding the baseband through to a certain intermediate frequency around 8 gigahertz and we have a second part which is our local oscillator which is doing then together with a multiplying process an up conversion process where we get the signal into the 60 gigahertz range as an example which might be one of the frequency ranges of interest uh, of course for different frequency bands you would need different up converters to target the different frequency bands you, you're looking for on the other side then we have a spectrum measurement and a modulation accuracy measurement uh, running. You can see that on the big screen here. Obviously this is a QPK, QPSK is this signal which has having, uh, as I said, uh, the bandwidth or symbol rate of uh, close to 2 gigahertz and the absolute frequency is around 60 gigahertz as mentioned. We reach in this setup here in EVM around 5 uh, percent. Well the important thing is here that this analyzer is internally having a 500 megahertz bandwidth capability. We have extended that now to 2 gigahertz as we are using a broadband signal and that is achieved by applying an RTO, an oscilloscope from ours, as an extension to this device. And then you have your uh, configuration menu here which shows how you need to connect those two devices. You've got an IP address, you have your um, calibration process running. And once you have done that, it's behaving like uh, internal 2 gigahertz bandwidth. And that's our 5G pro, uh, setup we are presenting here at Barcelona. Thank you. So this is the 4 carry aggregation demo. We are demoing 600 megabit downlink throughput using a CMW 500 flex setup together with a test mobile from the Italian company Prisma, uh, which enables us to do four component carriers, 20 megahertz bandwidth on each, 2x2 MIMO, enabling 600 megabit downlink. You can see on the screen the four component carriers, 20 megahertz on each carrier, 150 megabits downlink throughput, and each of the carriers is actually running 2x2 MIMO. So if I switch to another carrier, same thing. If you want to do the throughput tests, you can see here the downlink overall throughput, this top red line, resulting in 600 megabits downlink data rate, which each carrier contributing its 150. That is the first time that we can show publicly live 600 megabit downlink data rate on four component carriers.